What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today we're going to talk about the Iron Banner, my experience, what I thought about the event this time around, but before we get into that let's take a look at the loot I received from 6 packages as I did hit a rank 5 across all 3 of my characters and let's start right there. Now the rank 3 packages from Lord Shacks are really pointless in my opinion. All you get is a rare artifact, coins and molts. Here they should at least give us something useful, even if it's legendary marks or a shitty weapon or armor piece. For there to be a package at a rank 3, at least make its content somewhat useful. A rare artifact, a few molts and a few coins are just pointless in my opinion, they really are. So let's check out what I got from my rank 5 packages, where the loot is actually quite decent. Okay, so starting on my hunter and I received a 320 defense gold shell. And I also got the Buttermark stand, which is the heavy machine gun. This drops at a 334 attack off room void burn. Mods were Gorilla Fighter and Crag Control, also having Rifled Barrel, not a bad roll whatsoever, definitely a keeper. Moving on to my Titan and I received the exact same loot, a 320 Defense Ghost Shell and the Heavy Machine Gun yet again. Also offering a 335 Attack with Solar Burn. Mods on this one were though Life Support and Heart Swap. Again, not the worst roll so I'll definitely keep it because sooner or later I will infuse it. Now moving on to my Warlock and I received a 320 gold shell again and I also got the helmet, the iron companion hood, offering 335 defense, offering discipline and strength, mods are angel of mercy or heavy lifting and better already. I must say though I am loving the design of this thing, seeing it in pictures and shit is cool but seeing it on your own warlock is absolutely epic it really is. So that is the loot I received from 6 packages across all 3 of my characters. So let's move on. Now the Iron Banner this time around was a lot different in terms of loot and how easy it is obtained. Dropping from the moment you play it, in my opinion, is a much better way of implementing the loot. Whether or not them taking out legendary engrams dropping and replacing them with Iron Banner loot was the right thing to do, I'm not sure. In the background now you are witnessing 26 pieces of loot I received across all 3 of my characters. And yes for sure, the initial Iron Banner loot I received was welcomed with open arms, but after receiving multiple versions of the same item which were only going to be infused or being turned into marks, I can't help but think I'd probably be more happy at this stage of receiving legendary engrams. But yes, it is what it is. Either way, the rate at which this loot drops is definitely a bonus, which in my opinion is way, way better than previous Iron Banner events. Now, a lot of people were complaining about the lag. Now, although sometimes, but not a lot of the times, I did feel a bit of it, but for the most part, for me, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I did come across certain guardians with the red bars, but rarely did I see a full lobby lagging. I mean, yes, if I'm playing in the UK and I'm playing with pals that are from the USA, I'm going to experience a lag. That is common sense. But when I was playing by myself or playing with fellow guardians from the UK, the lag, in my opinion, was rarely seen, but that's just me. For me, the Iron Banner this time around was definitely a better experience than I can remember it being in the past and I'm actually personally looking forward to the next event and on that note guys I'm going to end the video let me know down below in that comment section how the iron banner was for you this time around thanks for stopping by as always and I'll catch you guys on that next one peace out until next time peace we all on YouTube every damn day Watching these vids of the brand new games Vid after vid, many of y'all the same That's why you gotta go and find DPJ Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes Heavy uploads gonna have you a hype Started in the UK, now he's worldwide DPJ, go and subscribe